Hi, I'm Chad. I'm Anthony. This is Lily. Uh, welcome to our home in Allegheny West. We just moved in about a month ago. Um, we had been overseeing renovations on the property for going on about a year. It was gutted out and restored into what it is now today. It almost reminded you of Home Alone 2. Yes. <laughs> it's like, it's like our, like the, his uncle's house at the end. We were told that it was one of 50 brownstones or so in the city of Pittsburgh proper, um, which is exciting. The home was built in the 1890s. It was built as a sister home that is identical replica of the home next door. Our designer recreated these incredible built-ins to make them look like they're original to the home. So the original curved ceiling was restored throughout the first floor. Our architects redesigned them and had to recreate them with the plaster mason. It's pretty cool that we, they kept that original element with the home as well. We have original wainscoting in the dining room and parlor. The original fireplaces are throughout most of the home. I think there's eight in total. And we like to mix a combination of our style with the Victorian style and architecture of the home. Part of the excitement, which is also a challenge for this process, is trying to stay true to the home. And we've been in here a short amount of time, but we're trying our best to fill the space thoughtfully. We have different pieces also in the home that were like my grandparents or his grandparents, yes. which we thought was important to bring piece of both of our families into this home. We had our last home featured on an HGTV show called Restored by the Fords. And Leanne Ford, who's, if you know her, she's an incredible designer. It was a lot of anxiety for us to want to actually leave that house and find something that's going to compare, compare to that. So when we got to have a part in designing this kitchen, it was really important that we had great aspects and like uniqueness to it. All of our friends make fun of us because neither of us do any cooking. cooking. And, um, but we needed to have the kitchen our family, they always say, they know we have everything to make the meals. We just never execute and do that. So we've got the 48 inch range. We have another wall oven built in speed oven here. This is our refrigerator tucked away in this area. Of course, the beverages. <laughs> and you'll notice throughout the home, like this arch shaped You'll see it first in this room, but then you'll see it carry on throughout. There's a bit of a story with that as you proceed to the other floors of the home. So the staircase is original. And the designer found pieces throughout the city and through extensive shopping and antiquing um, to find spindles. Like this was not here. It's an old post. Even the railing going up, which is mahogany, is something that she had salvaged or located from an antique shop to reuse. And if you notice all the spindles, there's a mix of two different ones because she intertwined what we had remaining in the home with what you see today. So this is the primary bedroom where arches were built in. After you get up to the second floor, we started to expose the brick, as you'll see here and on the wall behind the bed. Just to create a little less formal feeling. So then if you head this direction, you'll see our primary bathroom. Fireplace here, soaking tub, the vanities, and our shower, which we are kind of obsessed with. The window in the shower is original from another home in the neighborhood. Heated floors throughout. But in these older homes, they can be quite drafty and cold, which is a very nice thing about going through a gut renovation like this because we have all new mechanicals through the home and insulation. So we're very fortunate from that aspect as well. All of these walls were built to where we preferred them to be, but we were able to choose the placement of each of the interior walls to determine the size of the rooms and the addition of a laundry room, which we added on this and, floor. Yeah. And the transoms were 
put in above each door to help with light flow coming into the space into the hallway because um, these tend to be darker homes because they're attached on both sides to some extent the guest bathroom it's more of a gothic style again a salvaged window from another property that our designer found and the if you notice the shape of the tile in the shower also matches the shape of the entrance into the shower the artwork in the bathroom is from a neighborhood artist welcome up to our third floor we could have had two more bedrooms up here but we decided to make it an entertaining space instead as you'll see we have the original arched windows here city skyline views it's great for watching fireworks it's great and there's a concert at Acrishore or even a Steeler game you can hear the announcements and the cheering it's a, it's pretty cool we decided to expose the original beams and uh, raise the ceiling to give a grander height up here and then finished it off with crown molding throughout another element from our prior renovation is the chairs that are in this space they are from the 1950s from belgium then over in this direction we have our bar hopefully by the time spring rolls around we will have a rooftop deck built out on the back half of the home so one of the best parts about this house is the neighborhood that it's located in i think it's dubbed as one of pittsburgh's smallest neighborhood and it's really unique we've been here for such a short amount of time but we Feel like we know the majority of the neighbors already everyone's been so welcoming and they have great block parties for the summer holidays and and um, the neighbors have become like family oh yeah they really have 